Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today I want us to, um, well, I call it free will now. Free w will. Yeah, that's that's the word. Basically, you know the, by, this, the scripture says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Um, what is faith? Faith is believing. It's the word pistis. It's the, it's, it's, you can also say confidence comes by hearing. So you actually believe what you hear over and over again. Now, that's one of the reasons why scripture says to hold fast to your confession of faith. So if you keep saying the same thing that God has said in his word or he has said to you in your spirit man, you say it over and over again, you will get to believe it. So that when you ultimately say it at a particular point in time, you have, you'll be saying what you believe and it will come to pass. It will influence your actions and it will come to pass according to God's word. Now, that is the same way if you hear something over and over again that is wrong, you get to believe it. If you hear something that is not what God has said over and over again, you will believe it and it will cause fear to come. And that's what the Bible calls an evil report. That's a report that is not what God has said. It is counter to God and it makes you believe something else apart from what God has said. So in essence, <clears throat> it is crosswise to what God has said. You end up not believing what God has said. It would evoke fear for you. And you will not get what God has said. And what God has said will not come into manifestation in the earth. So you, you'll be one of those hampering or limiting the Holy One of Israel. Now, that is when you actually hear externally. Now, do you know that you have the same effect or even greater effect when you say something based on what you see instead of based on what God is saying. So you say it, <clears throat> oh, I believe we are, we are going down. Or ah, this will never, this won't, this won't turn out well for us. Oh, this business will collapse. As usual, this person is silly. Is that what God has said? The longer you say it, the more you believe it, and it would now come forth as conviction. And you will get what you say. For the Bible says in Mark eleven twenty three, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, and shall not doubt in his heart, shall say unto this, shall say unto this mountain or to whatever, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. So the more you say it, you will get to believe in it. And you believe that that... <clears throat> What you say will come to pass. He says you will have what you say. Not you may have. You will have. Ultimately you will have what you say. So if it is that you are saying things based on what you are seeing. You will keep propagating what you are seeing. You remember the 12 spies that were sent out? 10 of them. Or will I say 10 out of 12 of them came back and reported what they saw and they didn't feel tight with through the word of God. And they now took an extension saying what they saw and berating themselves, say we are like grasshoppers in their sight, that the land consumes the inhabitants of the uh, thereof. And we were we saw giants in the land and they, they uh, we were like grasshoppers in the eyes of the giants. Not that the giants said they were like grasshoppers to them, they were now assuming. They took it a step further. Say we were like grasshoppers before them. So in their sight, that is, they made themselves comparatively grasshoppers before the giants. And these were the same people that God said he would subdue them. Now, two of these chaps, these spies, came back and said, yes, of a truth, they were giants in the land. But the land flows with milk. It's a land flowing with milk and honey, as God said. 
and said, as long as God is with us, we are well able to possess that land, to defeat them, to subjugate them, to put them under. They filtered what they saw based on what God had said. And they chose to side with what God had said. And it was only two of them out of those 12 that made it out into the promised land after 40 years. The rest died in the wilderness. As they said, that was what happened to them. They got exactly what they said. And that's what God said. That you will get what you say because you will end up believing what you keep on hearing. If you keep saying it, you will hear, you keep on hearing it and you end up believing it. And then you are activating it by your words. So be careful. Not as if you'll be moving with trepidation, but rather fill yourself with what God has said so that naturally you end up saying only what God has said. That is basically what scripture means when it says hold fast to your confession of faith. So if you are full of God's word, what comes out of your mouth, irrespective of the circumstance or the time, will be God's word. You'll be saying what you believe and you will get what God has said. God bless you. Hallelujah.